One thing often overlooked in skateboarding is these athletes put in so much hard work and the lifelong lessons you can learn by skateboarding are huge. You can't do these tricks by just coming out one day and saying, oh, I want to skateboard. You got to put in time, energy, focus, and do it over and over again. Be confident, you have to believe that you can do it. That you fall, you get back up. I think I'm not a heel drag a little bit, but I don't care. I compare a lot of it to like things in life, you know? Try, try, try again. Skateboarding is a symphony of coordinated movement, skill, and creativity that showcases the amazing abilities of the human brain and body. The brain processes sensory information to provide nearly instant feedback about the body's position in space. This is called proprioception. The vestibular system in the inner ear helps skaters maintain balance even when they spin. Lightning fast brain processing speeds and reflexes help keep the board underfoot and their center of gravity in the right spot. It's not simply pushing, rolling, and jumping. Skaters rely on these complex interrelated body systems and senses to perform mind-blowing tricks. In my mind, I'm just telling myself there's no other option, honestly. I'm like, you gotta land it or else you're not leaving here today. When you actually land the trick, it's like the best feeling in the world. It's like all your dedication has just paid off. Zoom, zoom, no think. That's exactly what I tell everyone. I literally just, I turn off my brain and I just go as fast as possible. What makes a skater get up and try again and again? Perseverance. Research shows that parts of the brain related to memory building, reasoning, and motivation develop when people behave with determination. Brain chemicals that reinforce reward, like dopamine, help skaters keep going as things get tough. But how do humans learn an incredible physical skill like skateboarding? Ever heard the term muscle memory? Well, your muscles can't really remember things, but the idea of mastering complex movements is real through your neurology and physiology. First you watch and absorb to understand. Then you practice making tweaks based on feedback and failed attempts. This builds and strengthens neural pathways and eventually you master the skill to the point where you don't think about it, you just do it. And while muscles can't remember, Practice makes them stronger in the ways that improve your performance. Well, our oldest three years ago decided he wanted a skateboard for his birthday. And then I had a former coworker whose kid also used to come and do skateboarding all the time. So she recommended Wally and he went and they picked out a skateboard and we've been here ever since. And then our youngest decided last year she wanted to skateboard. She only kind of sort of skated last year, but she's actually decided to try more and enjoy it. It kind of feels like going on the little roller coaster back class. For both of them, just confidence in doing things, being able to realize that they can actually, you know, do a six foot drop in. It's kind of like a scary but really fun experience to just do it. We've been coming out here to the skate park uh, every Saturday. My son Avery, he was very scared at first. He had several falls and it's been really great in helping him learn some resilience and perseverance. Instead of wanting to be in front of a screen and watch it, he wants to go out and do the things he's seeing now. More than just a fun way to get chased by a security card, skateboarding has genuine benefits for mental and physical health. Like many sports, skating increases stress-reducing hormones and decreases stress-related hormones. It's even been shown to help some people manage anxiety and depression symptoms. Sure, there are bumps and bruises, but as exercise, skating builds balance, coordination, strength, flexibility, and endurance. Skateboarding is often included as an acceptable form of occupational therapy. And for some people with cognitive or physical disabilities, skating may provide new opportunities to be active and grow. It's a safe place to take risks and conquer fears, and it builds important life skills that carry into other aspects of skaters' lives. 
So my oldest son, Sora, is nine years old. Um, and he has a rare genetic disorder called prader willi syndrome. And then we also found out at the age of four that he also had cerebral palsy. A lot of doctors told us he would probably end up having to walk with assistance for most of his life. And then when the pandemic hit, we lost all of our resources for physical therapy. And I was trying to find a way that I could help work on his balance and build his core strength. Eventually I ended up at our first skate park. It's taught him social skills and social cues. Because, you know, when you go to drop in, you have to be aware of everyone else in the skate park. And you have to be able to pick up on body language and facial expressions. And seeing Sora be able to pick up on those nonverbal cues has been phenomenal. Sometimes falling a couple of times helps. It's like if you take a fall, then you're kind of like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Let me try it again. Usually most of the falls aren't like too bad. I just take a little break for a little bit and then just go back. One of the things I wish I would have learned is like how to fall properly. It probably took me about a year before we learned like, oh, you should like actually use physics and momentum to push yourself so you don't just fall flat and smack yourself. No pain, no gain. I've hurt myself pretty bad trying to do like bigger things, but you know, that's all part of it. You know, you fall, you get back up. I still vividly remember landing my first kickflip after trying it for a month and like getting hurt a bunch and stuff. And I was like, arms up in the air by myself, probably home alone, just yelling in the driveway like an idiot. When I finally land a trick, it's it's just like mind-boggling to me. Like it's amazing. It's the best feeling ever. You can't really explain it. You have to skateboard and experience it. <laughs> I think skating has given me a drive to be better. That has latched on to other parts of my life. It's given me a community, which is really nice. It feels good to be a part of like a family here. Love those guys back there. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is, really.